channel, MP Boss Mom, where I talk about being an MP, an entrepreneur, a wife, a mom, and everything in between. So today I'm actually talking about the people who are in school and you're about to graduate or you have graduated and you're waiting to take the test. So I've gotten a lot of people ask me about what I did to um to take my uh, I did the AAMP. Um so how did I prepare for it? So this video that's what it's about. How did I prepare? I was very proactive. I got to say I did not wait to the last minute. I have always been a bad test taker. So a standardized test taker. I have not been doing well. I have taken several standardized tests with my first NCLEX, guys. I had to take it twice. Um, I also was going to be a teacher before I was a nurse. I had to take that joker like three times to practice. So this time I knew my nerves. I knew how um, I was with standardized tests. So I started studying like when I got into clinicals. I got uh, APEA, which is uh, Amelie Hallie. She, I love her. I love, I bought her CDs off of eBay. And I played the CD, CDs on the way anywhere. My family was used to listen to Amelie. They thought she was funny. And anybody that's funny and can engage in, you know, you'll learn from them. So she's funny. She's engaging. I love her. I love her teachings. So yeah, I bought her CDs. I think they were like 130 at the time. It came with the book, the CDs that were used. And um, that's what I did. So I listened to her and then I started buying a lot of other ones too. So I bought um, Hallie. I bought but she, she's the APAE, so our school also gave it too. So that was part of us, our finishing, but I had already listened to her. Um, and it was funny because, like I said, my family even knew what she was going to talk about. us Over and over again, I did her books. I did Leak. I bought the Leak book, and, the, and I downloaded the Leak, and I bought the Leak app. Leak, L-E-I-K, Leak. I bought that and I, when I was in the grocery store or waiting in line, I would just do those questions. So I was so proactive and that's what I recommend doing because I did pass for the first time, the first time. So I um, did that. So I bought different apps that had different questions. I so did the leak. I took I um, Barkley. I studied Barkley. So a little bit of everything that I heard of. I pretty much got it. I went back on eBay and got the Barkley review. I also, I don't know how, I, I think somebody let me have their uh, Fitzgerald. I didn't care for it. I really didn't care for Fitzgerald all, at all. It was a little too overwhelming. She just had too much information. And sorry, but she wasn't that entertaining. So, um, I just didn't care for her review. Some people loved it. I had some coworkers that were like, that you know, she French Jewel was great, but it just wasn't for me. Barkley had some great tidbits about ortho, um, so he was definitely worth the review at the time. Um, leak everybody said her questions were just like the exam, and I gotta tell you, they were not. Um, it, it was great, everything was great information. APA, APAA, which is Amelia Hallie. Her stuff was not like the exam at all, but it was so easy to retain, um, so easy to study. It helped me actually in practice. It helped me with my, um, when I went to my clinicals, it helped so much. It, it seemed like I would listen to the video, I mean, listen to her CD, and all of a sudden, like, I would, it would be presented to me in the office. So, really loved her. I would listen to her now just, you know, some cl clinical pearls. So that is a great resource for when you're starting clinicals. Amelia Hallier, hands down for clinicals. However, um, some of the questions were like exam, uh, um, exam edge, I think it was, or board vitals. Those questions, I think it was exam edge. Those questions were just like the test. They were worded like the test. I was like, oh, I should have bought, because I just did like 10 of the questions, like they give you 10 free questions. And I was like, oh, 
I should have bought that test because, I mean, those questions because they were really a lot like the test. The test has changed since I've taken it. Um, but I, that's my, that's my advice with what I did to pass the, um, American Association of Nurse Practitioners. Um, AAMP, that's what I did. I didn't do the AAMP. I wanted to go ahead and take my test and I scheduled so, it for like a couple of weeks or a week right after I finished school, but then I didn't feel ready. So I, it was a month after like almost exactly a month when I took the test and I passed it. It was girl, man, girl, man, um, <laughs> whoever I'm talking to, when you, when I took it, I still was nervous that I didn't pass it because it did not, and that was kind of nerve wracking because I did so much studying that the questions didn't look like what I had studied. And I was really disappointed with it. I was like, wow, this does not look like what I studied. It didn't look like APAE, which like I said, main high. It didn't look like none of the little, little bit of fish drill I got. It didn't look like Barkley, but I got to say Barkley's information was definitely on that test. Um, leak, really in-depth study guide, but the questions did not look like leak. Now, like I said, it might have changed because that's not the same test that I took. Um, and like the exam edge, I hope I'm telling y'all right because it could be board vitals, but I think it's exam edge questions. Those look like the questions, but I'm not sure which one it was. So I'm sorry, guys. Um... But again, like and subscribe. If this information was helpful, you like to see some more videos like this, comment below, hit that notification bell so you can see more of my content and have a good day and God bless.